and I've been an amateur snacker most of my life, and I've been professional, yes, for the past few years. Snacking can be an occupational hazard. It is for Dan Whalen, author of the popular The Food in My Beard blog. Lately, he's been making the rounds. I was on the Today Show, I was on Hallmark Home and Family. With his cookbooks, and coming soon... Number five, which is all about nachos which is the ultimate snack. I like being able to help people make those snacks at home, and especially my favorite dish is something that you can bring to a party as an appetizer. Whalen's Boston Kitchen is both photo studio and test kitchen for his recipe posts. Today, he puts a creative spin on some favorite 90s after-school snacks. When I used to get home from school, I would open a jar of queso dip just microwave it. I wanted to do a more elevated queso for everyone's sort of football party needs. And it's easy. It's easier than you think. Cook a little chorizo on the stovetop, add in evaporated milk, which is sort of like a secret shortcut for queso, stir in some cheese, put it in the oven for five minutes, and then uh, bring out the, the chips. Hot Pockets were absolutely my favorite uh, thing growing up. My version of a Hot Pocket is pretty similar to the original version with a homemade pizza dough. I like to roll it more like a burrito to keep that in Hot Pocket style. I have a blend of cheese, mozzarella, provolone, and parmesan. I have canned crushed tomatoes. I wanted the pepperoni to make it true to the original that I used to eat growing up, but I wanted the mushrooms to bring it more into like what I eat now. Cheese, sauce, easy on the sauce, pepperoni, and mushrooms topped with more cheese. What you want the most of is cheese. Like a burrito, we're gonna roll it halfway. When I cook for my website, what people react to and love the most is the infamous cheese pull. For dessert, I'm doing homemade Dunkaroos, um, which is the only way you can have Dunkaroos in the United States now, because <laughs> you can't buy them anymore. The lunchbox treat of cookies and frosting was deemed too high in sugar and fat for children. I did homemade shortbread and a buttercream frosting. Also homemade with non-pareils to make funfetti. So I made these specifically to be a good dunking shape. We still have a frosting pull, which is a new one. <laughs> And all you diehard Dunkaroo fans will be happy to know that the snacks are back. Yeah, General Mills has revived Dunkaroos. They're back in grocery stores. They're also making Dunkaroos cake mix wow. and yogurt. And there's another one, cereal. They're oh. making cereal. That's Quantum for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Anthony. Everett. I'm Stacey. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>